on Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of £3,000. Feel the excitement of a holiday in Dracula's castle. Or feel the thrill of the big top, the movie star treatment for a trip to the circus. Splash in style with a beautiful new bathroom suite. All these prizes waiting to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. Thank you. What? Right. Hey, you what? Right. What about? Right. That's lovely. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Hello, Joan. Well, nice, nice firm handshake there, oh, Joan. Yes. Very, very firm handshake from Joan. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> hey, George. Yes, Michael. How do you do? Nice to meet you. And where about you from? Worthing. Worthing. So what, what, what do you do? You've got nothing. I'm retired. You're retired now, are you, George? Yes. You've got ER on your, on your. Tie. Yeah, that's the Queen's name. The Queen's uh, name. Yeah, this know. is the Royal Cipher. <laughs> I didn't know that, George. I do now, don't I, sir? Yeah, it's the Royal Cipher. Royal Cipher. And what, what would you used to do, George? Uh, well, I was in the Army for 30 years. In the Army, yes. And what yeah. were you in the, in the Army, George? You mean at the end? Well... I went through the lot. <laughs> you were no longer in the Army at the end, but... I mean, while you were there, sir... I was in the Royal Artillery. Royal Artillery, yes. Yeah, and I was a major at the end. A major? At the end. Oh. Oh, I see. Do you, do you work your way through or do you go to Sandhurst? Right from the bottom up. Right from the bottom up? Yep. Yes. <laughs> That's one way through the army, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> there you are. Well, we leave that to the officers. Now. Well, nice to meet you, Joan. Have a lovely evening Thank with you. us. And you, George. Lovely to meet you. Thank All of us. That's George and Joan. And we've got Gemma. Yes. How do you do, Gemma? And Mike. How do you do? Fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs> now, what do you do? I work for a bank. You work for a bank. And Mike? An insurance company. An insurance company. Where about <laughs> you from? Norwich. 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 You make all laugh. Norwich. <laughs> oh, I was working near Norwich. Married, by the way. No. No? no? Engaged? Mm. So you're not engaged? No. No. Uh, we don't think Do you have a boyfriend no. and girlfriend? Yes. 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 For how long have you known each other? Five years. Five years? <laughs> yeah. You're edging slightly towards caution, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I suppose so. So, there you go. So that's fine. Well, it's nice to meet you, Gemma and Mike. Have a lovely evening with us. Let's give them a nice round We're going to make the 39 Steps, the film, remake of it there, but they've run out of money. <laughs> <laughs> and they made two. Shame, isn't it? So, Carol. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. And Stephen. Yeah. And what do you <clears throat> two do? Um, well, I'm the housewife. You're the housewife? Mm -hmm. You're married? Yep. Yes. And, um... <laughs> yes, I do slightly get it round the other way, I know that, but... There you go. And, um, Stephen. I'm a rep. Uh, you're a rep for what? Who? Or Industrial what? Chemicals. Industrial Chemicals. And um, where do you live? Rossendale. Rossendale. Mm. Uh, I see. And uh, you any children? Just one. Just one? Boy, yeah. girl? Little monster. Marge. A monster, is he? Yeah. Monster. <laughs> why, why do you consider your child a monster as opposed to other people's? We have to live with him. <laughs> you have to live. Of course you do. Anything Absolutely and anything. And anything else, Stephen? Anything else you do? Um, don't get much time for much else. No, no time for much else. Well, somebody told me earlier that you, you do a bit um, of... It. Yeah, I haven't done for a while. I used to do. I used to go around the nightclubs a lot before I was married. Yeah. That's where we met. That's where you met, yes. And um, what did you uh, do? Well, one of the tricks I used to have was a bit of trick dancing. Trick dancing? And um, we'd ask a girl up for a dance and get her into the centre of the floor <laughs> and then embarrass her. Yeah. Just do it there. Just do it. There's a camera.
Now, the idea of the game is to get from one side to the other. You toss the coin earlier on to decide who's going first. <laughs> so, if your partners would like to go to their places, we can start. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Let's go. Off you go. Oh, you did it, Joe. Come on, Joe. We made it. All right, Joan. Nice route you took. <laughs> One of the prizes is tour of the set. She's got it already. <laughs> right, now, to move across your arches, you have to answer questions from various categories. I'll give you a choice of two, three or four questions for two, three or four moves. You give me an incorrect answer, your opponent automatically takes the remaining questions and takes your moves. All understood? OK, and it's sporting terms. For you, George, two, three or four? Three. Three. For your first move, in which sport might a reverse sweep go through the slips? Cricket. For your second move, in which sport might a southpaw take a standing count? Boxing. And for your third move, in which sport could a player bend a free kick around the wall? Soccer. That's it, three moves, you're off. There we go, all right. OK. All right, Joan. Yes, thank How you. How are you? There we are. Nice you. to see you again. Now, on each of your moves, you could win a prize. It looks simple, but mixed up in the computer or anything up to eight hotspots. You've got to decide when to make the prizes to avoid the hotspots. What is a hotspot? Not... <laughs> okay, Joan, just step up there and d just strike it with that hand there and let's see what you've got. Cashmere sweaters, a nice prize. What do you want to do? You want to bang down or is there something Move like on. This? Moving on? Okay, strike the next screen. Off you go, Joan. <laughs> Ooh! You lose the cashmere sweaters. We go on to the next category, which is politics for you. Mike, politics. Two, three or four? Two, please. Two. For your first move, who was Britain's Prime Minister immediately before Margaret Thatcher? Michael Foote. Michael Foote is wrong, I'm afraid. So, a chance for you now, Stephen. Who was Britain's Prime Minister immediately before Margaret Thatcher? James Callaghan. And for the second move, who was leader of the Labour Party, the Labour Party immediately before Neil Kinnock? Harold Wilson. Is yeah. wrong, I'm afraid. A chance again for you, George. Who Michael was... Foot. Michael Foot, right? You take the two moves. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Well, hey, you've done that one, Joan. That's okay. All right. There we are. Racing away here. Never mind. We've got plenty of time. Strike the screen, Joan. 150 pounds. You want to bank it? Or this is lovely. 150 bank pounds. Bank it. Bank it. Yeah. You're banking it. The money's yours. Okay. We go on to the next category. Which is words beginning with pet for you, Mike. Words beginning with pet. How many would you like? Two, three, or four? Two, please. Two. For your first move, a female undergarment. Petticoat. And for your second move, something which is trivial. Petty. Petty's right. Two moves are yours. You're on. There we go. All right. <laughs> right, Gemma? Yes, thank you. Yes, well, thank you very much indeed. Strike the screen. <laughs> A flitch of bacon. Who put that in there? Go on. A flitch of bacon. I know my... Move on. Go on. Move on. Move right. on, he You're says. You're moving on. OK, Gemma. There we are. Strike the screen. A hundred pound and a flitch of bacon. That's yours. There we are. Very nice. I wonder who dreamt that one up. <laughs> you like bacon? No. No? Good. <laughs> there we go. Stephen, it's for you. Nationalities, two, three or four. Two, Two, for your first move, which nationality was the writer Tolstoy? Russian. And for your second move, which nationality was the composer Elgar? German. Is wrong, I'm afraid. Chance for you now, George. Which nationality was the composer Elgar? British. British is right. Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> You're flying along, aren't you, Joan? Home computer. Nice prize. Want to bake it? Coming over, over you come, Joan. Mind the drop. There we are. Strike the screen. A microwave oven and a home computer. There you are. It's all right. <laughs> OK, the next category uh, is put the missing word into the song title. For you, Mike, put the missing word into the song title. Two, three or four? Two again. Please. Two again. I could have... Danced. All night. Is right. I've got a lovely bunch of... Coconuts. Right, two of yours, there we go. <laughs> I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. 
as nice there they you. are, standing in the road. <laughs> a bigger one. <laughs> Some as big as your ex. <laughs> Can you strut that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. A bathroom suite. Oh. Nice prize. Now, what do you want to do? You want to bank that or is there nothing on the next screen? Bank it. Oh. Hey? Bank, bank it. it. You're banking it? OK, you've got the bathroom suite. That's yours. All right. We go on to the next category. Now, we need to get you off, Stephen. Get uh, you off the ground. Get Carol Moon. My name is Bond is the next category. My name is Bond is the title of the category. Two, three or four? Two, please. For your first move, he was Goldfinger's bodyguard. Odd job. And for your second move, she is M's secretary. Miss Moneypenny. That's it, you're off. Two moves. There you go. <laughs> Side relief there, eh, Carol? Yeah, well, there you go. All right. A leather briefcase. Do you want to bank that or is there something on the next screen? Move on. A, a Move, on. Briefcase. Move on. Moving on. All right, Carol, strike the screen. Off you go. <laughs> 200 pounds and a leather briefcase. That's it. Right, we go on to the next category. It comes to you now, George. And you've got three screens. Two or three. The category is colours. Uh, three. Three. For your first move, the surname of the hostess of Surprise, Surprise. Black. Right. <laughs> That's telling me, isn't it, George? <laughs> Black. You watch it, son. You'll get it. The next, the next question. To be unhappy. Blue. And for the third move, rosé is the French for this colour. Pink. That's it. Three moves are yours. All right. <laughs> OK, Joan. Swipe the screen. <laughs> Don't believe it. What? Come up there. OK, we're going to the next category, which is blonde bombshells. For you, Mike, blonde bombshells. Two, three or four? Two, please. Two, for your first move. Her real name was Norma Jean Baker. Marilyn Monroe. And for your second move, I'm no angel was this one's boast. Mae West. Is right. Guess? Yeah. Well done. There we are. All right. <laughs> OK, Gemma? Yes, thank you. Yes. Right. Holiday in Norway. Oh. Nice prize. You want to bank it? Bank it. You're banking it? All yes, right. The banking, you got the holiday in Norway. All right. You want to... The next category... Come now to you, Stephen, which is animal names. How are you on animals? Yeah. Yeah. Right, Two, you? please. Two. For your first move, what kind of animal is the big horn? <laughs> shark? Sorry? A shark. A shark? Shark. No. 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 Sorry about that, Stephen. And chance for you now, George. What kind of animal is the big horn? Sheep. Hey? Sheep. Is correct. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of animal is a kookaburra? Kookaburra. Uh, bird. Bird, right. You take the two moves. All right. <laughs> OK. OK, Joe. Right screen. A set of cutlery. Do you want to bank that or is there something on the next screen? Are you going on? Move Here on. Here we come, Joan. There we are. Strike the screen. A weekend in New York <laughs> and a set of cutlery. The situation we've got is uh, we've got Carol down there just coming up to the halfway mark. Gemma's actually on the halfway mark. Mark and jo Joan and George, you're here on the main strike at Lucky Question. There's a weekend in New York and a set of cutlery. Are you going to bank them or answer the main strike at Lucky Question? I don't know how to answer the question. All right, I'll ask you this question. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask you this question and then you can confer as loud as you like. Then I'll ask you the question again and I must have an answer. OK, for a chance in tonight's final, which actor struck it lucky as the character of Blake Carrington in Dynasty? Oh, what's his oh, name? Okay, which actor struck it lucky as a character of Blake Carrington in Dynasty? John Blake. John Blake, is that your answer? Mm. It's John Forsyth, I'm afraid, so you lose those prizes. And we carry on with the show. Never mind, just stay there. And we go on to the next category, which is Hall of Fame for you, Mike. Hall of Fame, two, three, or four? <coughs> two, please. Two, for your first move. What is the location of the promenade concerts? Albert Hall. And for your second move, this is Mick Jagger's model girlfriend. Jerry. Jerry Hall is right. Two moves to yours. OK. Have <laughs> you come together? There we are. Just stand there. Strike the screen. There we go. 
150 pounds. You want to bank it or risk living on the next screen? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Go on. Did you say bank it? I said go on. Oh, you said, oh, sorry. <laughs> Here's what you say. Go uh, on then. Right, okay. Now I know why I never married you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we'll carry on to the next category. Chance now for you, Stephen. Two, three or four film stars. Who starred in which film? Two, three Two, or... please. Two. For your first move, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Paul Newman. He was known as the Sheik. Rudolph Valentino. That's right. Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> Off you go, Carol. Strike the screen. Rolls Royce for a day. What do you want to do? You want to bank it or this is coming on the next screen? Go, Move go. on. Move right, on. Over you come, Carol. Strike the next screen. Is it in a hot spot? No, it's not. It's a set of dumbbells. It's a set of what? There you go. All right, now I don't have to go on to the next category. I'm going to go back up here again. And believe it or believe it not, Joan and George, you've got another chance to go on to tonight's final. OK, I'm going to ask you another question. If I can find them at. <laughs> Let's stick them down so far. Find them. This, uh, here they are. Sorry about this. Right. Just a little prop that doesn't work. Oh, there you go. <coughs> right. <laughs> okay. Another chance. Here we go. Here's your question. The children's book Alice in Wonderland struck it lucky by becoming a perennial bestseller. Who was the author? Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. The children's book. Who was the author? Lewis Carroll. Hey? Lewis Carroll. Is that your answer? Yeah. Yes. You're going on to tonight's final. Let's give a nice round of applause. Come on, Joan. Down you come. Gemma, you like to come across. And Carol as well. They are back with your partners. Over you go. Ah, well done. Everybody back. OK, now let's tell you what you're taking away with you tonight. Now, Stephen and Carol, you've already won a briefcase. Dumbbells. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, get, keep your fit. And a Rolls Royce for the day in £200. And Gemma and Mike, you've already won a flitch of bacon, a bathroom suite, a holiday in Norway, £100. Each and every one of you will take away with you a memento of the game, the, so you can play that at home. And George and Joan, you've already won a computer, a microwave oven, £150, a chance now to make that up to anything up to £3,000. Let's give them all a lovely round of applause. Thank you very much indeed. Joan, you come with me. And George, you come with me. That's it. Just in there, Major. Jolly good. Right, now. <laughs> you move across your arches as you did before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screens there now, you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If a question comes up, it'll be true or false. You give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot. For a correct answer, you gain another move. If you go for our top money tonight of £3,000, you cannot hit any more than three, two hotspots. If you go for £2,000, no more than three. And for 1000 no more than four hotspots. If you go for our top money and you fail to get right the way across, we'll give you £300 for every successful move you make. 200 for 2000 and 100 for 1000 The prizes you've got already, they're safe, whatever happens. Before you make your mind up, our computer will now jumble them all up. Right, they're gone. What are you going to do, George and Joan? 3000 3000 They're going for it, 3000 Let's give a nice round of applause. Come, Joan. Just like to stand there. The very best of luck, George. Just like to face me and keep the same gap as we go across. Very best of luck. OK, we're going for the top money tonight. £300 for every successful move, no more than two hotspots. Here you go. Is it top, middle or bottom for the first 300 Top, middle or bottom? <laughs> the bottom one. Yes! We're all away. Over you come, Joan. You'd just like to stand there, Joan and George, for £600. Top, middle or bottom? <laughs> the top one for £600. Yes! We're away. Well done. Oh, marvellous stuff. No, don't do that, George. You've got some money coming. There we are. OK. For £900, top, middle or bottom? Top, middle or bottom? Middle. The middle one for £900. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. That's marvellous. Right, for £1,200, for £1,200, top, middle or bottom? The bottom one. The bottom one for £1,200. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, this will be true or false. 
OK, the Fen Street Gang was the title of the sequel to Please Sir. True or false? True. Is that your answer? Yeah. 1,200 pounds, we're on the way. Here we go. Just say there, Jules and Joan. All right, for 1,500 pounds, top, middle or bottom, for 1,500. Middle. middle. The middle one for 1,500? Oh. oh, that's one gone. Good. You're still on 1,200 pounds. You're just coming over to the halfway mark. Over you come, Joan. I'll just help you over. There you go. Just stand there. That's lovely. OK, again, for 1,500 pounds, top, middle or bottom, where are you going to go? Middle. The middle one for fifteen hundred. Yes, brilliant. They are just sat there. Okay, for one thousand eight hundred pounds, top, middle, or bottom. bottom. <laughs> the bottom one for eighteen hundred. Come on, please. Oh. <laughs> this is for eighteen hundred pound. Okay. The Scandinavian group Aha won the 1974 Eurovision Song Contest. True or false? False. False. It was ABBA. That's it. 1800 pounds. Okay. We go on to the next one. There's three screens to go. This is for two, two, 2,100 pounds. I'm so excited. <laughs> 2,100 pounds. Top, middle, or bottom? 2,100. Top. The top one for 2,100. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the German prison camp, O Flag 4C, was more commonly known as Colditz. True or false? True. True is right, well done. <laughs> 2,100 pounds. All right. Now, this is it. This is what we're going for. You've only had one hot spot, so you can get the jackpot on this one. Because you don't even have to go to the next one if you make it this time. So, for 3,000 pounds, is it the top? The middle or the bottom one for three thousand pounds. The bottom one for the jackpot, please. Oh. Can I help you? Hey. Can I help you? No, that's all right. <laughs> this is for three thousand pounds. The very best of luck, and I think everybody's with you. No, no helping at all. This is for the jackpot. Ray Allen created the popular glove puppet Sooty. True or false? False. Is that your answer? Yeah. You won the jackpot. That's it. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Come over here. Stand beside me, John. Stand to stay there. There we go. Let's have a look at the screen. Let's have a little wall there. I'm good. Have a little fun. Oh, well played, Johnny. Well played, Johnny. are not very uh, into this particular show. <laughs> Seem to be right. Let's tell you what you're going to take away with you tonight. Apart from all the fun you've given us, you, well, you've, got a, well, you've done it yourself. You're taking away with you tonight the computer, a microwave oven, the money you won earlier. We had that there, so the money you've got there. And tonight you're taking away with you, plus the prizes, of course, £3,150. Ain't a bad night's work. Thank you, Major. Thank you, Joe. Good night, God bless. That's all we've got time for. Until the same time next week, good night and God bless. Good night. Thank you. Philip Schofield wants to give away £250,000. The catch is, to get it, you have to crack the cube. That's next, and new here on Challenge.